Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Avion bracelet and this was designed by me. Um, I designed it a really long time ago but I haven't uploaded a tutorial until now so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Um, and this is also a variation on my apps bracelet which I also have a tutorial for on my channel from a while ago. Um, and we'll go ahead and get started. So what you're going to need today is going to be a hook. I'm going to use my double ended hook here. You're also going to want a C-clip and some bands. Today I'm going to be using four different colors. Here I only use three. Um, for the border here, which I use black, I'll be using zebra stripe bands for. Then for the neon blue bands that are in the center, I'll be using neon yellow. And then for this bottom uh, electric glow blue loop here, I'll be using electric glow blue again. But then for this big loop up here, or this longer loop up here, I'll be using neon blue. So let me put all these bands off to the side and we'll go ahead and get started. So you're going to want to start with a 10 loop setup. I'll go ahead and do that with my zebra bands. So you'll just make a cap band, pull a band through, lift one of those loops, make sure it doesn't come undone like mine just did. And then you'll string on three bands and do the fishtail stitch on each of them. Once you finish one side, turn it around, reclaim that cap band loop, and string on three bands again in a fishtail stitch. So once you have this, now what you're going to do is take your bottom electric glow blue loop here. Again, I'm using electric glow blue today. You're going to pull this through the first seven loops on your hook. And you're going to lift everything back up onto your hook. So be careful not to pull on this blue band too much because um, if you pull on it, it will just unravel and you'll have to start over again. But you're going to move these three border bands to the outside, just like you have on the other side. So it'll look something like this. Now take your neon yellow bands. Take your first one. Pull this through the first six loops. And then you'll pick up this third loop. So you'll skip the first two, pick up the third. You're also going to pick up the fourth, skip the fifth, and pick up the sixth loop. Now take this first band, move it over to the outside, so you have your zebra band on the outside, and go ahead and slide this down, and repeat the same thing with your neon yellow on the other side. Pull it through the first six, grab the third and fourth loop, as well as the sixth loop, and then rearrange the zebra band to the outside. Also make sure your bands stay in order. And now we will take the top electric glow blue band, which I'll be using neon blue for. You'll pull this through the first seven loops. You'll lift these middle two yellows and these outer three um, bands here as well. Then you'll rearrange so it looks something like this. Now we're going to add our border, so take two zebra bands, take your first band through the first four loops, lift the first, which should be that neon blue band you just put on, and the fourth loop. Then take your next band, pull it through the first three, just lift the outer one. And now you should have one neon yellow loop and four zebra loops on this side. And we'll repeat the same thing on the other side. Again, taking two border loops, two border bands, pull this through the first four loops, lift the first and the fourth, then take a zebra band through the first three, lift the outer one, and now you'll have your 10 loop set up again. It's just going to be a bit of a different color here in the center. So now you'll take your electric glow blue loop, pull this through the first seven loops, 
and lift everything back up onto your hook. Move these outer three zebra bands outside of the blue. Again, making sure that you don't pull on this blue loop because it will come undone. Now you'll take your neon yellow, pull this through the first six loops, lifting the third and fourth and the sixth loop. And they should be kind of sticking up too, so it should be easy to find them. And slide this down, turn it around. Take your other neon yellow band through the first six loops. And also if your bands become um, undone like mine just did, just make sure that you cross your bands back over and maybe even pull on this one a little bit. So band through the first six, grab the third and fourth and the sixth, and we arrange that the zebra band is on the outside. Now you'll take your neon blue band Pull this through the first seven loops. Lift the center two here, the center two neon yellow, and these outer three bands. Rearrange this so that it looks the same way as it does on the other side. And get your zebra bands for your border. Pull your first band through the first four loops. Lift the first and the fourth. Pull your next band through the first three, lift the outer one, slide this down, turn it around, take a zebra band through the first four, lift the first and the fourth loop, then take a band through the first three, lift the outer one, and you're back at your ten loop setup. I'll show you this one last time. Take your electric glow blue loop. Pull this through the first seven loops and reclaim everything back onto your hook. You might want to pull the band down so that it doesn't fall off. Then take your neon yellow band, pull this through the first six, grab the third and fourth, making sure that these bands stay in order, and the sixth. Rearrange that six band so it's on the outside. Slide it down, turn it around. Pull your other neon yellow band through the first six. Grab the third and the fourth and the sixth. Rearrange that outer one. Then take your neon blue loop through the first seven. Pick up these inner two neon yellow loops and these outer three bands as well. Now take your border bands, pull the first one through the first four loops, lift the first and the fourth, then take your next band through the first three, just lift the outer one, slide this down, take another border band through the first four, Lift the first and the fourth loop. Then take another band through the first three. Just lift the outer one. So you'll continue this bracelet until it's long enough to fit around your wrist. And then finishing off is pretty easy. You'll take two more bands. Probably your border color. Take this first band through the first nine loops. So everything except the last one. You'll lift the second loop here. Skip these four middle ones, lift this next loop, which is also connected to this very outside band, put it on your hook, and then move this to the outside. Now that you have six loops, take one band through it all, and that is what it's going to look like. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. I will have my Instagram name in the description box below um, if you want to check that out. Otherwise, that is going to do it for this video, so I hope to see you next time.